This world is just too small. Channel. Who's there? Open the door.
a keyblade. A meteor shower! Can't see much from here. Oh. I've got time to spare. Piece of me, too. Win. Gotcha. around here for I'm gonna miss the meteor shower Why does this seem so... familiar? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But did I dream that place up? 
It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. <sighs> hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? Yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Why, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. fine if you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Wrap this up. Told ya! 
sound good? Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up with the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Oh! We don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. We're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Jadi untuk yang first ni aku akan main untuk The Bandits ni story lah Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Sayanot, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam. But then, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. 
seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, then. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> Terra again. What? Get real. 
I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in the tiny world? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who are you? I'm Ventus. Call me Ben. A diamond thief! Take cover, you fools! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. You didn't? Oh, you mean you're not here for our diamonds? That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Tara. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Tara. Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it. Stay where you are. All right. Then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Come on, 
on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. Ha! Ah, that's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. Probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Oh, thank you. I feel quite better now. I'm sure I'll get along somehow. But I do need a place to sleep at night. Would you know anywhere I might? Well, I saw a house just up ahead. Come on, I'll take you there. I'm Ventus, then for sure. Thank you, then. My name's Snow White. Great. Let's get going. Stop! 
Hmm. I'm pretty sure you'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. Someone's asleep in here. The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Huh. Couldn't stay away, could you? And who invited you in, you rotten thief? Oh no, he's not a thief. He rescued me. You mustn't be more. I mustn't be fooled by him, princess. Just go on and get... Please don't send him away. You see... He helped me when I was lost, and oh, so very frightened. What happened? Well, I was picking flowers by the wood, and there was a stranger there. He had a sword, but it was like a key, and then these monsters came and... A sword like a key? Tara! You mean this stranger saw you and set his horde of evil demons after you? Tara would never do that! Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who's your friend. Princess, you trustn't be so musting. Uh, trust him. He's a lion! Mark my words! I'll prove it! Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Huh? Oh, I thank you, my pet. To tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> Haven't I seen that sword before? 
Terra has one. You know Terra? Oh, yes, yes. That ruffian pointed one of those at me asking about some Xehanort. My poor heart nearly stopped. That doesn't sound like him at all. Ma'am, where did Terra go? I'm sure I have no idea. <sighs> Must you all menace a poor granny soul? What? No, I, I was just... Tara, what did you do?